Hey, Brent Porcio, topvelocity.net. I'm gonna do this instructional video on using the Pocket Radar Smart Coach uh, in your training session, specifically if you're going through, say, the 3X or 2X programs here at topvelocity.net. So first you're gonna have to get your radar out. So I've taken it out, I've got it set up over there. The coolest thing is you can plug them in so you're not running on battery power. I think that's a better way to do it. So you don't fly through batteries, plug it in, get it set up in a stand. I just used I basically got an iPhone stand, uh, can mount it in there, uh, and, and then I've got it set up directly behind where I'm throwing. I'm going to be throwing on the mound here. Today, you can use this in any flat ground session as well. I'm just going to give you some examples of how I would use the Smart Coach radar to support my, uh, my drill training or my, my uh, training for the day or my bullpens for the day. So once you have it up, you're going to press both of the buttons, and then you're going to sync it if, if it wasn't synced up it would say connect you would go to syncing it um, and then from here i want to go into s selecting the uh the the camera icon up here and that kicks the camera on here's the cool thing when i hit start this is going to record every throw for me and make little cuts and drop it into my photo album which is really really cool so i can go back for analysis so i'm going to do a throw and basically you know we work drills with either a baseball or a med ball. And the reason I want the pocket radar is because it's going to give me two things. It's going to give me video for video analysis. And that's why I like doing side views. You can also do back views. But I like doing side views because I'm going to use it to check some of my biomechanics in my drill and see how well I'm doing that. And then I'm also going to have a radar reading, which gives me something where I'm not trying to light up the radar here. I just want to know when I make certain improvements in my biomechanics, how is that affecting my velocity? But we're going to talk about You've got to make sure there's some key things there so you don't get some misreadings or misunderstandings of how your biomechanics are affecting your velocity. So that's why I'm going to do some drills with you today, and I'm going to take you through an analysis session, a section or session uh, with the Smart Coach from Pocket Radar. So here we go. So I'm going to work on one of our drills where we go linear positions in separation, right? I haven't thrown much, but basically here we lift, we fall forward and down the same rate, and we drive, and then we throw. Okay? So that should have picked it up. Okay? I'm also going to do one with the med ball. So, you know, some of our sessions we use a two-pound med ball, so we don't put all the stress on our arm. I'm going to do it in the same movement here. A lift, fall forward and down the same rate, drive and throw. Okay? So now when I go back to the app, okay, I can stop it. I'm going to go into my photos, okay, and then I can see if I go into my most recent photos, sorry, up here, I can see these last two sessions are here recorded. That's the baseball throw, and then that's the med throw, okay. So I now can do what I would typically do in an analysis. I have the uh, pocket radar. Uh, velocity recorded there. I can scrub through it, right? So I could sit here and go, okay, when I hit front foot strike, I didn't have my hips through, so my hips weren't open, right? And uh, so ideally, I want my hips more open. So let's see what happens. So that was, let's say, 48. I hit 48 with my hips landing pretty close. Let's see if I can do better. Landing with my hips open. So here we go. So to do that, I'm going to basically, as I fall, I'm going to push more drive, more force through my back hip, and see what that does to my velocity. So it's like, it's crazy. It's just like, Okay. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to go immediately into my footage, and I'm going to see what that did. Okay, we can see here, I hit front foot. And my hips pushed open a little bit more force, and my velocity went up six miles an hour. Now, I know it's, I was more cold, I'm warming up into these throws, but I can see definitely more drive coming off there. If you were using something like the King of the Hill we use, we could even see when our foot's coming off. We can listen to it, we can go back and play it and see if we heard the click on it because there's sound on here. And then we can see that how that affected velocity. Now, understand, you could make an improvement in your biomechanics in your legs and then you flew open in the process and your velocity goes down. So make sure you really understand your biomechanics so you know 
if you did see one of the key improvements that is a high correlation to velocity, like we teach you in the top velocity programs, that that should have correlated to velocity and you should have seen that. But if you see other things like early trunk rotation, which can work against velocity, and you saw that occur at the same time, that could be a reason for the velocity not improving or even maybe going down. So you got to make sure you really understand your biomechanics because if you're jumping into, oh, well, I just I try to drive and I threw slower, then maybe that doesn't work. That's not a good way to learn your mechanics. You really need to study them, understand what the science are saying is, is really where the correlations are, and do your best to implement them. And through video and a reading of the outcome, there's no better way to get that, that, that feedback. So same thing. If I went into the med throws, into front foot strike, I can hit front foot strike, and you can see my foot is still on there, and I released it at 30 miles an hour. Now I'm going to come back, okay, kick it on, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to drive and separate, okay? Drive and separate more and try to go over 30, 30 on the uh, on med ball throw. Stop that. Okay. Oh, one more right here. You got another one, Brent? So we hit a 34 right there. So that's four miles up. And if we go back, we can see I hit front foot strike right here. And you can see my foot is a little bit more as I hit front foot extended than what it was when I was back here. If we go back here, you can see I hit front right here. And I was, I was still down. I was coming up in the other one. So that improvement led to a four mile an hour improvement or increase. So. That's the best thing about the Smart Coach Radar. It's cutting the clips for you, so you're not having to do that manually off your phone. It's plugging in or, or, or attaching the reading, the velocity reading right there, and it's giving you a perfect environment to uh, test your biomechanics and really see uh, the results and how well it's working for you so you can work to your velocity goals. If you want more information on the top velocity programs, how to learn these biomechanics and how to really take advantage of them and use where a tool like this really works for you, uh, check, learn more about it at topvelocity.net.